feel like yeah all day like yeah all night like yeah whole squad like what in the feel like yeah all day like yeah all night like what whole squad like yeah in the feel like yeah all day like yeah all night like yeah whole squad like yeah in the feel like yeah all day like yeah all night like yeah you don't want problems you don't want smoke Welcome back, everyone, to NRG Stadium in Houston. It's Texans football as we get set to rejoin the action in quarter number three. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. Then they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Watson now, pretty remarkable. 14 of 15 through the air, only one in completion. And another first and 10 here. Now the pass, and it's into the arms of Hopkins. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. A gain of six there on first. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit, and that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. Got to make completions, step up and make those throws, and he did that. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. He can run for it, and he will. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game, but why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Here's Freeman. Now he won't go down. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Throwing on second and three, Ryan, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Ryan. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively, you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. 
And now out comes Houston. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Another tote for the afternoon workhorse. It's high. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give him a lot of confidence to help turn things around. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. The Texans send the punter out. He's been terrific so far. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Now a quick slant as the throw's complete. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That's a nice, sizable gain right there, and you've got to give credit to the offensive line because when you're dealing with a 3-4 defense, your job first and foremost on the defensive line is to hold everything up and allow your four linebackers to stay clean, as they say, with no blockers on them and run to the ball and make a tackle. But on that play, to get that type of yardage, that means they weren't able to stay that clean and they made the tackle downfield. Second down now. It's Freeman. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. Now it's first and 10, a big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. After the penalty, here's Freeman. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Shift, shift, shift. 51. 
from the 39. Ryan, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. From the shotgun, Ryan. It's hauled in by Hardy. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 24-yard line. Perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Operating from the gun. Ryan flushed out right. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. All day, dog. Tight is Ringo. Tight is on Ringo. Tight is on the Ringo. Three down, three down. They'll try and run to their fullback. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Let's face it, you always want a team full of guys who can get you first downs and big plays of all styles. But you've got to have a big man. You can just turn and hand it to, and he can be dependable in picking up first downs. First down, Freeman, and he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Devontae Freeman, his third touchdown of the game and fourth on the year. And the Falcons push further out in front. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. Bryant's extra point up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends in a touchdown run from Devontae Freeman. 